If you are in the market for a new telescope, there are many things to consider. A telescope's aperture size, or the opening on the front of the optic, helps estimate how much light can be captured while also offering a rough price. A large refractor, such as the Explore Scientific Ed series, which by its design gives a nearly perfect image, would be the best telescope to ever exist, but refractors tend to be quite small as well as some of the most expensive optics on the market. On the other hand, Newtonian reflectors offer an amazing trade-off between large aperture size and a relatively cheap price point, but they tend to get very heavy and can be prone to slight problems in image quality. Most long-term amateur stargazers, and even some professional instruments such as the Hubble Space Telescope, utilize optics with a Cassegrain design which weighs significantly less than a Newtonian reflector while also maintaining a near-perfect quality image. Knowing the difference in designs will also help estimate a rough cost for your telescope. Some of the more modern telescope designs use exotic, expensive materials to offer an unmatched optical clarity but at a premium. Most of these higher-end telescopes tend to be a Cassegrain of some type, such as the Ritchie Chrétien designs offered by Orion, but they also cost significantly more than the Newtonian reflector counterparts. The reason why the Cassegrains are so expensive is due to the shorter and significantly lighter tube which houses an array of lenses and mirrors that do not require as much maintenance. This will allow you a more reliable viewing platform for both viewing and astrophotography, while also providing a crisper image than a Newtonian reflector. Right now you may be asking yourself, why not just get a really big Cassegrain? Well first and foremost, they are very expensive. Some of the best amateur Cassegrains on the market such as the Celestron, CPCs, the Orion, Ritchie Chrétien, or the Mead, LX200ACF series run as low as $2,800 or £2,100 and can range upwards into the tens of thousands. On the other hand, a comparative Newtonian reflector such as the Celestron 127 of the 130 series or Orion's 130 and XT series run as low as $150 or about £100, with some of the largest computer guided Newtonian reflectors running for a maximum price of about $3,500 or £2,600. One detail to remember is that the cost of telescopes, lenses, and astronomy equipment add up very fast. As a beginner or amateur stargazer, unless you truly have a passion for viewing the heavens, it is almost always best to have a small, portable refractor or even a moderately sized Newtonian reflector, this will help you save money with a portable package that will still allow you to see some of the best views of the night sky. There are a few exceptions to every rule, but as an amateur stargazer you will find yourself limited by how heavy of a telescope you can physically move. This generally translates to maximum aperture size of 10 inches, or 250 millimeters, or even as high as 16 inches, or 400 millimeters if you have a group to help you set up. Knowing where you intend on stargazing is also just as important, for instance if you wanted a top-of-the-line telescope for both at home or on top of a mountain, then a Maxitoff Cassegrain, which is innately more durable than any other telescope, such as the Mi DTX-80, will be your best bet. Another option for a beginner that is just as capable as a backpacker's exploration scope would be the Orion Observer 60mm, which costs a mere $75, or £55. There are bigger and better refractors on the market but they tend to get expensive very quickly, for instance the Orion Eon 130mm Ed triplet which costs roughly $2,300 or £1,700 is easily one of the best optics on the market, but is also over 30 times more expensive than the 60mm Observer. Remember, in almost every instance, the largest aperture will always pull in the most light, which in most cases translates to more details. Also, unless you are a dedicated astronomer, you will most likely be moving your telescope in and out of your house every night, meaning that you might struggle if you have a 30-pound 10-inch, or 14-kilogram 250mm, Newtonian reflector. Secondly, optical clarity almost always coincides with price, as some of the coatings and other materials required to make the telescope cost more. Refractors are a perfect example of this, as no optic can beat a refractor in terms of detail. Third, you need a proper mount. A simple tripod or even Dobsonian platform will work just fine for most viewing but it can be nearly impossible to manually find an object, let alone track it, as it moves across the sky. Eventually almost all stargazers end up with some type of tracking mount, a high-quality camera, separate eyepieces and lenses of filters, and a good guide to following the stars. These are all the basics that are needed to view the heavens like a professional astronomer. 
There you have it, how to find your next telescope as well as recommendations. If you are interested in learning more about other telescope equipment such as mounts and eyepieces, or even learning more about astronomy then please subscribe to my channel. Also, if you have any suggestions or comments let me know in the comments section down below.